Good morning. Just a little video about a query I had yesterday about the mouth on a mitoplane. So I've done this little drawing to explain. The man wanted to know what width I aim for on the mouth opening of a mitoplane and is there any way of opening the mouth up after the plane is made and there is so I'll explain it I told him that there's the bed ankle whatever it is and there's the bit front end fill in front of the mouth I told him whatever shape you do on this front end fill finish up in the in the sole metal a little right angle there because that's the bit you will have to ease if you want to open the mouth up so you don't want a lot of metal there you want a small amount a sixteenth would be plenty and I told him that when he gets the front no, sorry, the rear infill fixed in place. Hold the plane. Um, better show you on something like this. When you've got that fixed in and you want to check if the iron's going to come out because it's very... Uh, this is a very difficult part of making the mitre plane is to get the iron, the cutting iron, to come out the mouth. So when you've got that fixed in place, you say, if everything is right, hold it up to the light, look down the bed, turn around here a minute, and you must see daylight. Now if I move that around a bit, you'll probably, at some angle, Lining that up, the top of the bed, with the mouth, you'll see a white line where the light's coming in. Sarah's nodding her head. Right, so that is essential. If you can't see the white line when you hold it up to the light, the iron won't come out. There's something wrong with the bed. It'll either be uh, a slightly too lower angle than you were aiming for, or there'll be a bump somewhere in the bed, it won't be dead flat. So it's essential you can see through there, and if you can't see through there, you've got to alter that so that you can see through there before you've got any chance of the iron coming out. Right? And then, as I explained to this man by email, if you do have to open the mouth up, when the plane is finished, I always put horizontal and I told him, he says, the man said, I haven't got any little thin files to open the mouth up when the plane's done. Should I open it up before, before and Well, I picked these up from somewhere years ago, the little tiny thin files, thin, look, dead thin, and the one I very often use on nearly all my plane making is this one, it's a little bit thicker than the majority, but I've rubbed the back off, got rid of the teeth there, so that when I ease the mouth, the back is not filing the back of the mouth, you don't want to open the back up. And when you do this, you must remember the infill, where it comes to, on this plane, it comes dead in line, this point here is dead in line with the mouth. So, you've got to make sure that you're not going to catch the boxwood, so I slope it marginally to miss any damage 
on there. And it's a long process to be taking very small amounts of metal off at a time until you get it right. So that's how I overcome that problem. And I think that's about it.